Uh, this poem is called My Name. Folks always tell me I got a white name for being so black. My name is Brianna, born from Alila and Daryl as the grandchild of Thomas and Dorothy. I asked my mama why she didn't name me something cooler, something more elegant. She replied, you would have been an Amy or Odell Jr. Do you want that? I proceeded to say nothing more. My mama named me this to match with my sister. Eight words, eight ways to join two black bodies together, Brittany and Brianna. Folks always tell me I got a white name for being so black. My name is not Brianna or Brie or Brianna without an H. My mama made this name to be black when people truly hear it. The small H is an act of rebellion, forcing those to speak it right every time. The small H is an act of rebellion, forcing those to spell it right every time. The small H, make sure you pronounce the uh at the end. The small H is a dream I wish to have. Whenever I pass by tags and keychains and patches at gas stations, fiddle with the B section only to see if they would acknowledge me. The small H is a facade over the phone, an email. No one ever thinks a Brianna can be black. No one ever wants to. Folks always tell me I got a white name for being so black. My name means high and noble and Celtic, white passing and Oreo in English, punishment of the highest degree. My mother adds Lene Hill, sweet tea and apple pie in my grandmother's house. Folks always tell me I got a white name for being so black. My name is my own. It is as black as history. It runs blood deep, breaks generational courses, acknowledges to the people that I am alive. My name is Brianna. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, this poem is called Entry Number 209, Nigga. Right, yeah, see, see, see? <laughs> nigga, nigga, noun offensive, a respelling of nigger, typically representing urban African American vernacular English. Nigga, nigga, adjective, dearly loved. A story between two black bodies, one strangers, now family, fishtail combs, seven packs of jumbo hair, and a tub of eco styler, approximately spending five to nine hours within company. Nigga, nigga, part one of two, arrive. Cause a nigga's always gonna come fashionably late to the cookout, the function, the kickback, but never the wedding, never the birthdays, always on time for grandmother's funeral tip. Always let five to 10 minutes go by before you text a nigga where they at. Nigga, verb part two of two, laugh. <laughs> nigga, you funny. Nigga, adverb, beautifully. Gold chains, bamboo earrings, and a pair of Tims with no creases or scuffs. Head wrap on head wrap on head wrap on head wrap, locks, braids, bantu knots, and fros. The oral storyteller on the corner, the player down the street, the hustler on the side of the road, doing what they do beautifully while being a nigga. Thank you.